Italy went into this game in Rome looking for a first ever victory over England. A run of 18 successive defeats in the championship against the English didn't augur too well for Conor O'Shea's men. England start this NatWest Six Nations campaign looking to take the title for the third year in a row. 23 wins from 24 matches pointed towards an English team in good form and full of confidence. And Eddie Jones' side made the start that reflected that confidence. A beautiful movement of the ball from left to right through the hands of Farrell, Ford, Teo and May before Anthony Watson finished in the corner for a superb opening score. A perfect start for the visitors and a crisp finish from the bat winger. Owen Farrell failed with the conversion but England 5-0 up after just three minutes. However, the English were dealt a blow soon after when scrum half Ben Youngs went off with a serious-looking leg injury. Danny Kerr came on. No sooner had the match resumed than England were back in full flow and one man in particular. When May fed Watson out wide, the winger still had plenty to do, but the Italian defence was slack and Watson hit top gear to charge for the corner and dot down for his and England's second try of the game. It was a wonderful score from the 23-year-old who showed strength and great pace. And although Farrell missed the conversion, England were cruising 10-0 ahead with just over 10 minutes played. The concession of those two tries might have rocked the Italians, but they responded superbly. As Italy went through a number of phases, the ball was recycled. And fly half Tommaso Allen produced a wonderful pass to Tommaso Benvenuti out wide. The Benetton wing raced over for an excellent score. It was a vitally important one for O'Shea's side to keep England within their sights. And Allen was on target with the conversion to leave just three points between the sides. Italy 7, England 10. Italy's joy was short-lived, however. England re-established a 10-point advantage in the 26th minute with a third try. Quick movement of the ball and good running. Ford picked out Farrell on the wraparound and the number 12 slipped through the gap to race away for a third score of the game for the men in white. Farrell's sixth try for England and few will have been easier. The Saracens man was on target with the conversion to leave England 17 points to seven ahead. Just before half time, Italy chipped away at that lead. Allen landed the kick to bring it back to 10 points to 17 at the break. <laughs> On 52 minutes, England scored a bonus point try and it went to Six Nations debutant Sam Simmons. The Exeter Chiefs number eight in the side in the absence of Billy Vunapola took his chance and showed that he had a decent turn of foot to sprint clear for the score. And when it was converted, the lead was out to 27 points to 10. Just short of the hour mark, Italy bounced back with another score. There was another pass over the top to the wing, which undid the English defence. Benvenuti looped a pass out to Mattia Bellini on the wing, and the Zebra man managed to just get the ball down before being pushed into touch by Mike Brown. The TMO reviewed the score and deemed that Bellini had got the ball down just in time. A good finish from the number 11 under a lot of pressure from the English defenders. And although Allen was off target with the conversion, it was back to Italy 15, England 27, with just over a quarter of the match to play. But it was the English chariot which continued to roll in Rome with a fifth try on 68 minutes. Farrell and George Ford combined well, as they so often do, to open up the Italian rear guard. And the Leicester fly half skipped over for a score that ended any hopes of an Italian comeback. It left Farrell with an easy conversion and England were out of sight, leading 34 points to 15 with just over 10 minutes remaining. And there was still more to come from England. Sam Simmons burst through for his second and England's sixth try of the game. Simmons again showing great pace for a number eight and having a dream championship debut. Italy's resistance was broken and a Farrell conversion left it 41 points to 15. There was still time for one more score from the visitors. They took advantage of tired Italian legs. Simmons with a pop pass to his clubmate Jack Knoll, who glided over for a seventh England try. 
He scored twice against Italy at Twickenham last season and was over again in Rome for his 12th try for England, leaving a scoreline of 46 points to 15, which is a little harsh on the plucky Italian side who put up a good battle for long periods before England eventually overpowered them. Eddie Jones' men host Wales at Twickenham next, while Italy have three matches away from home now. It's Ireland and Dublin for them next. England, looking for a third championship in a row, have made a positive start to their campaign. Final score in Rome, Italy 15, England 46.